the Russian uh, Russian uh, military is occupying the nuclear power plant and uh, taking the people who work there as the hostages and they imitate, so they like fake the uh, shelling of the station by Ukrainian army, uh, accusing Ukrainian armed forces in that. But for them, this is clearly that this is what Russian military is doing. And this creates a very big risk of the uh, nuclear accident. Fierce fighting continues in Kherson in efforts to reclaim the occupied region. Kherson was one of the first major cities to fall, but now President Volodymyr Zelensky has warned Russia Ukrainian troops will push them back to the border. Meanwhile, at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which is currently under Russian occupation, EU officials are handing out pills to civilians to stop the body absorbing radioactive iodine. Security expert and Ukrainian correspondent Maria Adviva joins us from Zaporizhia to give us the latest. Uh, morning to you, Maria. Good morning. Um, should we start in Zaporizhia, where you are now? What's, how concerned are you, how concerned are people about the, the fate of the, the, the power plant? Well, I had the possibility to talk to people who are evacuating from Energodar, which actually the uh, town uh, outside of Zaporizhia where the nuclear power plant is located, and people are terrified and threatened. So they say that the Russian uh, Russian uh, military is occupying the nuclear power plant and uh, taking the people who work there as the hostages, and they imitate, so they like fake the uh, shelling of the station by Ukrainian army, uh, accusing Ukrainian armed forces in that. But for them, this is clearly that this is what Russian military is doing. And this creates a very big risk of the uh, nuclear accident. Several uh, days ago, the two blocks of the uh, power plant, of the nuclear power plant were disconnected from the grid and that created a possible accident of the uh, nuclear meltdown. And people are afraid, of course, and many of them leave uh, the city because they they consider the threat uh, very real. Is it possible, are you worried that the Russia might do something deliberately, an act of sabotage, blow up the plant, do something that releases radiation in the environment is that a, is that a possibility do you think the nuclear uh, experts in ukraine say that this will not be some kind of explosion which happened to chernobyl more that if something happens it will be something like what happened to fukushima so it will be a meltdown the could be a meltdown. There will be some time for people to evacuate in this case, but of course the time will be very limited. And the threat uh, is real. And uh, today uh, we received the news that the uh, International uh, Atomic Energy Commission started to move here to Zaporizhia and nuclear power plant from Kiev, where they have arrived yesterday. And we hope that Russia will not provoke anything uh, because the, then the international expert will clearly see uh, that this was provoked and staged up by the Russian uh, uh, army. But of course, uh, the, the, the situation is very intense and we don't know uh, how, how it will develop and uh, if the uh, experts will be allowed to, to uh, make this expertise fully uh, and uh, and they will not be uh, under some kind of pressure from, from the Russian side uh, because Russia only said that they will be allowed to spend their only one day, whereas the head of the uh, atomic energy inspection says that they will spend there as much time as they think it is needed. Uh, and what is life like there at, at, at the minute? You're, you're near to, to, to a front line, uh, clearly. We've seen reports of in, you know, life in Kiev going back almost to normal, you know, the return of football and things like that. What is life like where you are at the moment? Well, in Zaporizhia, for example, tomorrow, as in all Ukrainian cities, uh, there will be the first day of the school. And uh, I was told that the children here will not go to school and also the kindergartens will not start working. So there will be only possibility of uh, online education for kids. And this means that the government officials and their parents are uh, 
So they consider a real threat that something might happen and that's why they keep the children at home. Uh, yesterday and as today in the morning, several times there were air sirens and there were explosions uh, around Zaporizhia this night as the previous nights as well. So uh, this is uh, not the like the ongoing front line uh, here in the city. But of course you understand and have the feeling that this is a war zone and especially seeing all these people that are evacuating from Zaporizhia region, from Kherson region, which are currently occupied. The uh, checkpoint uh, where these people cross uh, the, the, uh, the line, or so to say, between the uh, Russian controlled and Ukrainian controlled territories is uh, only uh, uh, 30 minutes away from the city itself. Just finally, before you go, do you feel optimistic at all that, you know, Kherson might be taken back, that eventually people will be driven from the sub Zaporizhia region? Do you feel that the there is hope for the Ukrainian forces? Well, what the uh, uh, official uh, military uh, say uh, to me uh, and generally is that uh, uh, Ukraine will regain control over all the territories uh, in the borders uh, before the Russian invasion. But we have not, we don't have to have the more expectations and uh, tell, ask to m make it in a uh, more quick than it will be possible. And this uh, this will happen not in the way as we probably think how it happens in the war movies, but rather different kinds of uh, actions will be used. Now Ukraine is targeting the lines, the Russian lines of supply, uh, then the, the uh, limited tactical uh, ongoing operations uh, are being carried on the ground. And also we know that the... Uh, the uh, so to say, Ukraine is targeting those people who are collaborators and who were uh, uh, working for the Russian government on the occupied territories. We uh, very often receive news that uh, they were uh, assassinated, and uh, uh, that means that the uh, so to say the uh, undercover activities yeah. are also being held on the occupied territories. Interesting. So it's a different type of war that you can move into. Uh, Maria, great to speak to you as ever. Take care of yourself. That's Maria Adviva, security expert and Ukrainian correspondent. Yeah.